spoke to you last year and you said you kind of felt a bit homesick at times, stuff like that. Is that something that still lurks around or you feel like you've dealt with that now? Um, you never sort of get over it, man. These boys are so lucky to have, you know, their dads in the pits. Um, you know, mine's yelling at a TV screen 3am in the morning, far, far away. So, um, you know, all them little things, it's um, quite difficult for us boys. But, um, you know, if we have a bad meeting, we have to go stay in a hotel, fly, get up early, fly, drive home. And it's not even our proper home where these boys can just go home to their actual own bed with their family right there. Yeah, that's tough. I think a lot of people probably don't really appreciate that. Winning the Aussie title went down to the last, I think everybody thought Doyle had it in the bag and you snatched it. You must have took a lot of confidence from that coming into this season as well, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I did. Um, you know, that was one that I really wanted for a long time. Uh, you know, my brother's got five and... Um, still chasing. You know, I'm still chasing, I'm always chasing him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I finally got that one and it was a big weight lift off my shoulders. You know, everyone thought Doyley had won it, but um, you know, I was the true champion at the end. I um, got it done when it mattered. So yeah, that was awesome. And um, yeah, you know, just really trained hard over the off season and come back and you know, everything was ready and um, Everything's just working. <laughs> and you do come from a real speedo family, say your brother Chris rode, other brothers rode. Has that kind of been a bit of a motivator for you? I know you sort of tongue in cheek just laugh about your brother having five. Does that kind of spur you on? He's got that world title. He does, he does. Um, yeah, for sure. It's always good to, you know, your, fa your whole family's are involved in the speedway. You know, my dad runs like a speedway experience back home with uh, Craig Boyce for the little boys. And, um, you know, there's a couple of little juniors that are coming through to ride one of these bikes at uh, Mula. So that's that's cool that, you know, dad's um, putting in the effort back home and uh, Chris is still racing and Jimbo, he's back home and watching, yelling at me. Um, but yeah, it's always uh, good to, um, you know, get one up on them when I can. Let's see if we can get one up. Talking to one up, there's that top step on the podium. You've had a bronze, you've had a silver. <laughs> What's more important for you? Winning that first Grand Prix or being consistent throughout the whole season? Consistent. I, um, you know, I, I really should have won Warsaw, but, um, you know, I had the chance to do it in the rerun and it didn't go down that way. But, um, you know, I've, I've had a little taste of it. And, um, you know, any podium's good as long as, uh, you know, at that end, I'm on the right one.